We're here at La Coperia Restaurant in Midtown Manhattan on East 57th Street. We're about to go and meet Chef Carlos from Argentina, his partner Victor from Mexico. They opened up this beautiful restaurant and they're gonna teach me how to cook salmon. Now, for anybody who knows, I don't know anything about cooking whatsoever. The only thing I know how to make is a reservation. So let's go see if we can teach Brad how to cook. Just got handed this apron. Does it say kiss the lawyer, kiss the chef? Nothing. It says nothing on here and I, Wait, should I put this over like this, or should I? Yeah, nothing like a lawyer cooking with his blazer on, right? Uh, how are you? How are you doing? How are you? So, what, good. so wow, look at all this stuff here. What, what are we doing today? So we're gonna do one of my signature dishes. Uh huh. It is called salmon brulee. It is a salmon tartare. Salmon tartare. With cream, cream cheese. We put brown sugar on the top, like a brulee. Cream, That's why. cream cheese, brown sugar on top, and you're gonna burn it. Like a, like a creme brulee like dessert, a creme, but except it's salmon. It's gonna be salmon. Is, is this an appetizer or is this it's a main an course? It's, it's an, an appetizer. appetizer. Yeah. Okay. All right, so salmon. Okay. So we're gonna do some, um, add some uh, uh, red onions. Red onions. Scallions, cilantro, radishes. Radishes, okay. very good. Looks good. Salt. Uh-huh. So we're gonna add uh, some house vinaigrette. Okay. Now I want you to know, to him this, this is much harder than it looks, right? <laughs> it is. Right. So we mix it. Mm -hmm. I have leche de tigre. That's a Peruvian sauce. What, what, what is it made out of? Ginger, jalapeno, cilantro, strawberries, and raw salmon. So it's going to be sweet and spicy at the same time? Yes, correct. Right? And a little sour. Too. And a little sour. Everything. So yeah. we're going to put the sauce on the bottom. Uh -huh. The mold. So we're going to fill it up. How long did it take you to come up with this dish? Right? Many you, times. you tried like a yeah, hundred ma different... Yeah, many times. Right. It took me like a month. Is everything on your menu your own particular dish? Yes. Your own, yeah, yeah, your yeah. own take on... All, all, yeah, all, all my dishes, my recipes. Was your family chefs? Did your family uh, own restaurants? My, yeah, my mom, my sisters. They own they restaurants? Are, they own restaurants. In Argentina? Yeah, so... Did you work I'm, there when you were a kid? Yeah. So you always yeah, knew yeah, this yeah. was what you were going to do? Yeah. What are you putting on this So family? this is the cream cheese right now. Oh, cream cheese. Okay. Like you would get on a bagel? Yeah, the same one. Brown sugar. We're not ready for fire yet. Brown almost, sugar. Almost, yeah. We're almost ready for fire. I guess I'm going off my diet today. There's no diet for me today. Okay. All right. So now we're going to touch. You okay. want to do it? All right, I'll do it. I hope you haven't shown. Yes. Oh, this Very is easy. Good. Do you eat, burn it till when? Till it just gets till, brown yep, like that? Correct. And that's good? Or am I burning yeah, more, it too much more, now? More. Okay, we're good. Okay, done. How do I shut Perfect. this off? I don't want to burn the place Stand down. Up. There we go. All right. All right. So we're going to grab some strawberries. Now, are you here cooking every day? I spend my time some between the three restaurants. So oh, you have two other restaurants? Yes. Where are, the, where are your other restaurants? One is on the Upper East Side. Uh -huh. 84th Street and 2nd Avenue. Right. Same, same restaurant. Same restaurant. Wonderful. Which, um, one was, which one was your first one? This one? Uh, Hell's Kitchen. Oh, Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. And how long have you been here in this place? This one have uh, six months, six, seven oh, wow. months. Oh, okay. wow. All right, All right. So ready. We're ready to eat? Yep. What'd you just put on top of it? Olive oil and some green oil just for garnish. Okay. Now I'm glad you cooked this and not me because if I cooked it, I don't know if I would have eaten it. But because <laughs> you cooked it, I think we're going to be okay. Okay. All right. That's right now? Yes. I'm really okay. happy you cooked it because I'm like, I'm not going to eat what Go I cook. Ahead. Let's see. Mmm. It's really good. You got to <laughs> try this. I'm telling you, it's really, really good. I'm having a, uh, you know what? Go get your own. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating this. This is great. Mm. Fabulous. Thank Excellent. You. Thank you. Thank That's you. great. So, Victor, I just, I just finished cooking with Chef Carlos. We made this beautiful salmon, cream cheese. He even let me burn it on top. It was fabulous. It was great. It was great. You, I actually thought you it was You have good. the skills, by the way. I you have no skills. skills. I'm, I'm a good lawyer. That's as far <laughs> as we go. You met Chef Carlos when? We met eight years ago. I met Victor, my partner, my business partner, working on the same place on a Mexican restaurant here and, in New York City. And he was working there as well? Yeah, he was the general manager. And I was the chef. Whose idea was it for this restaurant? We always thinking to do something very different, Latin American cuisine. I mean, he has, you know, skills from Europe, his background, you know, he's, he's from Argentina. So we were thinking to mixing ideas. You know, because you have that, you know, Argentinian, Latin American. We cooked a little bit with Peruvian sauce. Yeah, Peruvian, uh, Argentinian, mm -hmm. Argentinian food, uh, Peruvian food, Mexican, Colombian, Brazilian. It's a little bit of everything from South America, and Central America too. So you're originally from Mexico? I am. Okay, so when did you come to the United States of America? It was 92, mm -hmm. 1992, it was 19 years old. You uh, just ran across the border? Yes. 
like everybody, like else, everybody right? else, right? Right. And was then you easier. it was easy then, right? Easier. No walls, no, no, wall, no Trump, no, no. Trump, nothing. Right. And how long did you stay? I stayed for four years. So I came here uh, 2000. United States don't ask to Argentina for visa. Okay, so you came on, yeah. you came on the 90 day yeah. visa waiver. Uh, correct, yeah. Right. And you got your green card. Yes. Started as a dishwasher first. Which is nothing that you did back in Argentina. You were a chef back in Argentina. Yeah. How did, how did that make you feel? I started learning the, the language. I changed my job. That's why my first job was a dishwasher because I cannot speak any English. Started moving up, prep cook, line cook. My second job is as a cook. I mean, it's an amazing story that you <laughs> went from a dishwasher and never spoke a word of English to where you are now. Before I was working with the manager of the restaurant, the gentleman, he owns a restaurant now. He hired me. I started with him as a busboy, uh -huh. runner. I mean, he had a great skills of you know management. He taught you how to run the restaurant. He, he taught me, you the he, restaurant business. Uh, one of, of his customers, you know, people that I met, Paul Newman was there. Uh, the actor. Uh, Woody Allen. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was one of the regulars. Regulars. Right. So um, I didn't know much English, so you know, I never had a conversation with them. I, I learned part of, you know, like New York City scene. I mean, it was a beautiful restaurant, 92nd Madison Avenue. I was working with that gentleman for a couple of years. So, so how did you raise all the money to open up all these beautiful restaurants? Or did you just save uh, all this yeah, money? Saving, saving, from yeah. savings, yeah, from washing saving. dishes and line yes. cooks, and you just saved yeah. and saved and saved. And then the two of you put your money together and opened up your first exactly, restaurant. Exactly, correct. You know, they say, you know, more than half restaurants fail after six months. Were you scared to... To open up, that you took all yeah, your life yeah, savings. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you, t you have to take the risk, you know. You can lose everything. You can lose, like, you're, you're afraid of that, but also you have the courage and belief in your partner and belief in the project. The first one was very successful, and then we had the opportunity to open the second location. And have your parents come to visit you here and see yes, the success? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah, yeah. proud of you. Oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah. So you feel you've reached your American dream? Uh, I'm living the American dream. I am very happy, so I, I am living the dream right now. You're living the dream yeah, now. Yeah. You have three beautiful restaurants, but you worked very, very hard for it. Uh, nothing is given to you on a silver platter here. Everything you did from being a busboy to now owning three restaurants, you are the American dream. Well, it, is, it was days that, you know, working as a manager, I never wanted to walk in the restaurant because I didn't have the skills growing up doing, you know, my first job. Mm -hmm. I always care for the business. You know, I always care for doing the cleaning, you know, like, like do the little things that, you know, nobody saw. And obviously, you know, the owner. Recognize that. Recognize that. So I will recognize that. Right. I, I will help. You have to push yourself too, you know. You can be the best plumber, the best carpenter. But I think that's, you know, it's about you. Working hard, you gotta want it. You gotta so want it. So that's, you know, rule number one. Thank you very much for having us your restaurant. You, it's pleasure. beautiful and, and you really did a wonderful job. Thank, Thank you. you. My pleasure. Thanks again for coming on You're our welcome. show.